In the next problem, we have been asked to compare the acidic strength. Now, we have been given two molecules A and B, and we are being asked to compare their acidic strengths. Acids loses H plus. Acids are those substances which ionizes or which which loses H plus in a system. In either it undergoes auto ionization or in the presence of base, that base is able to abstract H plus from that acid. Now, if at all this A and B has to act as a as an acid, then H plus has to be removed off. H plus has to be removed off from these molecules. Now there are there are various options. There are various places from which from where you can remove H plus. You can you can remove H plus either from you can remove H plus either from this sp3 hybridized atom or this sp2 hybridized atom now the bond strength between carbon and hydrogen is higher if that carbon is have higher percentage s character this sp2 hybridized carbon has a higher percentage s character than this sp3 hybridized carbon so so the bond strength of the hi the bond strength between c and h with the carbon sp2 hybridized carbon will be higher than the sp3 hybridized carbon so preferably if someone has to abstract hydrogen it will abstract from a sp3 hybridized carbon rather than sp2 hybridized carbon so this is the position this is the position from where hydrogen will be abstracted similarly this is the position from where hydrogen will be abstracted and when hydrogens are abstracted it will produce negative charge on carbon atom and these two intermediates will be formed correspondingly so if you abstract hydrogen from this molecule this intermediate will be formed and if you abstract hydrogen from this molecule then this intermediate will be formed now the acidic strength you know uh, acid uh, acid is a strong acid when it when it releases more amount of H plus ion in a water or a solvent or it is more easy to abstract H plus from that molecule. Now the easiness of abstraction depends upon the stability of what is formed. The, uh, the conjugate base which is formed if that is more stable then the acid has a higher tendency to give off its H plus and hence the acid will be a strong acid and the acidic strength will be higher. So if we have to compare acidic strength, all we have to do is to compare the stability of these conjugate bases, these two conjugate bases. Now this, this intermediate, the, this conjugate base is aromatic. We have seen this, we have identified this compound in the list we have done before. This is aromatic and this is anti-aromatic. Because this is anti-aromatic, this is highly unstable, so this will not be formed and this will not be formed that means this molecule will not release H plus because if it releases it forms this anti aromatic compounds so it will not release H plus it will not be ready to give off its H plus and if it is not ready to give off its S plus it's not a good acid R on the contrary this is not a acid at all and in, th in this case this this cyclopentadiene will remove will will have a high tendency to give off its S plus because it forms a stable aromatic conjugate base so there is no comparison of acidic strength cyclopentadiene is much much more acidic than this cyclopropene so if you have to see the acidity order then a a a is much much more acidic than b Now in this problem they are asking us suppose I carry on uh, ca I carry out hy hydrogenation in this molecule and this molecule has altogether four pi bonds and I'm adding S2PD and I'm using one equivalent of S2PD. I'm using one equivalent of S2PD then out of these four only one pi bond will be hydrogenated. Now they are asking us which pi bond will be hydrogenated. So what we have to do is we have to carry out hydrogenation in such a way so that my aromaticity is not lost. My aromaticity is not lost. Now, this ring, this is a benzene-like ring. If I do hydrogenation either on B or C or D, this benzene-like ring will no more look like benzene. 
that means the aromaticity of this ring will be lost. So what I have to do is I'll do hydrogenation on pi bond A so that the benzene ring still looks like benzene ring, ring as smart as benzene ring as stable as benzene ring so that the aromaticity is not lost. So this is just a simple application. This question just checks simple concept on aromaticity that whatever because aromaticity brings lots of stability so we'll try to save aromaticity and we will not hydrogenate a pi bond that will destroy my aromaticity so i will not go on to hydrogenate b c or d or the molecule itself will not allow hydrogenation on b c or d unless there is a pi bond a so hydrogenation will be carried out on pi bond a so that my aromaticity is saved and the molecule is still stable. Now this problem is the higher version of the problem we, we did previously. This this problem was asked in ITJ mains exam and they were asking if we, if, if we carry out hydrogenation on this molecule which two pi bonds will be hydrogenated because I have added two equivalent of hydrogen gas. So I have, uh, I have added two, two molecules of hydrogen gas per molecule of this substrate. So uh, which two molecules? must be hydrogenated this is the problem now the concept behind this is same as the as was in the previous problem we have to destroy anti aromaticity and we have to safeguard our aromaticity if we look at this ring this ring looks like benzene ring so if you if you hydrogenate a or b or c this benzene ring will no more look like the benzene ring so aromaticity of this ring this six member ring will be destroyed so i will prefer not to hydrogenate a b or c similarly this ring also looks like benzene ring so this is aromatic as well so i'll preferably not hydrogenate f g or h on the contrary if you if you look at this four member ring this four member ring is a anti aromatic ring this four member ring is like this and this ring is anti aromatic as we have seen before because all the atoms are sp2 hybridized and it has four in pi electron so this ring is aro anti aromatic so this ring this this four member ring this four member ring is anti aromatic so we'll try to destroy this anti aromaticity so the two bonds that has to be hydrogenated that is d and e if we hydrogenate d and e anti aromaticity will be lost molecule will be stabilized and plus our aromaticity will be safeguarded so the two bonds that has to be hydro hydrogenated is r d and e in this problem in this problem we have to compare the bond rotation now the thing is this is a pure double bond and if you are seeing bond rotation across this bond, suppose I name this as bond A and I name this as bond B. Now we, I have to compare rotation across bond A and across bond B. Now bond A and bond B as such is a double bond and there is no rotation across a double bond. But we have to appreciate that this will not be a pure double bond. Because of resonance, there will be some single bond character induced into this double bond and because of that single bond character there will be some extent of bond rotation the one having more single bond character will have greater extent of bond rotation and the one having less single bond character will have lesser bond rotation they are asking us to compare the extent of bond rotation whether bond a has more rotation across this or bond b has more rotation across it now to do this what we have to do is we have to draw resonating structures and in that resonating structures we have to see in the position A when there is a single bond the resonating structure is a stable structure or unstable structure if that RS is a stable RS if that resonating structure is a stable resonating structure then there will be more single bond character at position A similarly we have to draw the resonating structure and we have to see in RS if uh, when there is a single bond character in the position B then the corresponding RS is a stable RS or not if that is a stable RS then indeed there will be a single bond character in position B now suppose I break this double bond I shifted this double bond 
towards one of the atom i i broke this double bond that means the both the electron of this double bond was given to any one of the atom since both are the since the structure is symmetrical here so i give to any of the carbon atom it does not matter so one of the carbon atom will develop a negative charge like this and the other carbon will develop a positive charge now if you look at this ring this ring is aromatic ring but the lower ring is anti aromatic ring and here is the problem if the ring is anti aromatic then it will not be formed and if that is not formed then we, you can't break the bond if you can't break the bond then it will exist as a pure double bond and when there is a pure double bond there will be no bond rotation across that double bond because when when you rotate then the pi bond will break so that's why there will be no no rotation across that double bond and if that there's a pure double bond there will be no rotation but here in the second molecule if i if i break the pi bond then when i break the pi bond either i can give both the electron to the three member ring or i can give to the five member ring when i give to the five member ring the five member ring will develop a negative charge and will form a aromatic ring when i give to the three member ring then the three member ring will develop a negative charge and it becomes anti aromatic and the lower ring is anti aromatic as well so this is not a preferable way of breaking the bond this is a wrong way of breaking the bond if you break the other way round then the lower ring will be aromatized because of the negative charge and the upper ring will also be aromatized the upper ring is also aromatic so the upper ring is aromatic and the lower ring is aromatic as well so this is a proper way of breaking the pi bond so if i break the pi bond in such a way that the both the ring is aromatized so in this case we see that the, when i break the bond in a proper manner then the both the ring are aromatized that means the molecule is very stable so the pi bond will exist the pi bond will will not exist as a pi bond rather it will be the molecule will be polarized that means both the ring will have charge and the charge will be rotating inside the ring the charge will be undergoing resonance in on the ring so the pi bond will will automatically will be in a broken form that will not exist as a pi bond that means effectively there is there will be mostly only single bond character in the position b so the bond b although it has been shown as a double bond in the question but it, it will not exist as a double bond it will have a very high single bond character because of aromatization of both the ring on breaking up that bond that's why the at position v will have a high single bond character and when there's a single bond there will be rotation across that single bond so if you have to compare the bond rotation bond rotation in b will be much much higher than bond rotation in a because in b when the bond breaks both the rings are aromatized thank you very much